Yo, um, today doing AM wide band gauge. Um, and we're going to wire it to that, which I've already fit together. Um, but when you buy these capo ECUs, you get in the box. Um, where's it at? Where's it at? Uh, there's one of them. Additional wiring harnesses, which are not fitted to the ECU. Um, are these both the same? GC9840, yeah, they're both the same, so. Not fitted. Uh, these are for analog inputs, which we need to run the wideband, because the K-Pro is going to run the wideband, and it's going to make it more accurate. Uh, it means we can data log and we can map the car on the road and stuff like that. Um, so I've got to fit the wideband sensor. Um, and then remove the ECU, drill a hole in it, I'm guessing, to fit that, which I believe may invalidate the warranty on it, but just have to do that. When you order these, I don't think there's an option to say fit this, which there should be really, in my opinion. Um, it should come fitted already, just sticking out the ECU ready to be used, but it doesn't. Um, I might also stick the Honda the sticker on it as well. I've got two Honda to stickers actually, but I'll stick that on the ECU just because it's cooler. Right, um, so I'm going to go and jack the car up, remove the primary lambda sensor, because um, I don't use a secondary one anymore, and swap that for the wide band, and then find a way of fitting the wide band wiring through into the car, big grommet somewhere, and then remove the centre console so that can fit it, because there it is there. I do have a gauge pod holder, which I bought from XO Racing, it's the version 1 that they did. They do a version 2, which I'll probably replace it with at some point as it just looks a little bit better um, and it angles a bit better towards you but that's what I've got for now so that's what we're going to do right so you've got primary O2 sensor secondary which you've got a lot of heat bungy but stuff like light coming on so we need to remove this one um, and then we're just going to run the wire, the wire band, pretty much following where it goes now. We should bring it up over the steering rack and then under that way. So this should come out all right. It's been out before. Well, it was a few days ago I started doing this, but unfortunately um, I had a bit of a problem with the lambda sensor trying to get it out. I'll put a picture up now. Just rounded completely, wasn't coming out. Um, so what I've had to do is, unfortunately, I've had to give the car a stay. He was going to take it to his work. Hopefully the car will return at some point if it hasn't overheated. It's a different story. Um, and then get on with doing this. But for now, here's another look at that picture. Oh well, day 58 of attempting to fit a wideband. So the car's returned from Stee. Stee has removed the Lambda Pro um, that I'd managed to round and replaced it with the Bosch wideband sensor and ran the wires up into the bulkhead area. Um, I'll show you a quick picture of that. I need to run through the grommet anyway. But... So the next thing I've got to do now is I've got to remove the um, centre console bit of the dash. don't know what you call this bit. Um, remove that because I need to remove the one of the centre vents to replace that with the gauge pod and um, then I also need to remove the ECU as well yeah so take that out take that out and take this in the house so I can put the gauge pod in there and then run all the wiring into it um, so yeah this is much like my last video but in reverse when I fit it again up so we don't need to watch this bit and this comes out dead easily as easy as that um, yeah it's two Phillips screws for a bracket I've done a video on this actually fitting this radio so two Phillips screws on that bracket I think it's that way around might be the way around yeah two Phillips screws there and there you've got two eight mils which kind of go into there and then you can drop your phone and when you pick your phone back up and then you basically just lever it up the way it pulls out it's dead straightforward so that now means that I can take that into the house Right, so that's the ECU again. Um, I did this on the Honda K Pro fitting video. So you just need it's a 10 mil socket. You got one at the top up there, one at the bottom, which you need to take there. 
lower kick trim underneath the glove box off to get to and then just i think it's i think it's two plugs or three plugs i can't remember and that that comes out why is there just the usb cable i'll just unplug that now leave it sat there I and mean, that might actually show us the grommet that i'm going to use as well might be able to get to that a bit easier without the way let's take all this stuff into the house right so we've got this twin gauge pod here which is off XO racing that's the v1 i will replace it the v2 at some point but i can be bothered to buy it and it's going to replace that vent there so I need to remove all this. I'm thinking that it looks like I'm going to have to chop these in half, which is another job for the junior hacksaw. So let's get a trusty screwdriver and do this first. So yeah, we're probably going to have to trim that down. Because that side won't fit on over there, obviously. Epic. Right, so we've got half now. We've got that in. That's going to fit on there. Screws go back in there. Screws go back in there. That's that done. Not bad, not bad. Now, this is designed to fit the AM style gauges because they're shallow, like really shallow. You can see there. Um, it's got the slots in the back for it. Yeah, so that there should just plunk right in, it does. There's your air fuel. It's pretty cool, I might actually put it in that one. Yeah, I'll put it in that one. Warranty void, if removed. back now I mean what's the worst that can happen if you've watched any other videos I've made probably quite a lot let's hope not pow there it is K Pro 4 very nice well, some circuits and a little board in it, really. And um, with a big blue stripe on it there. Right, so this wire here connects up to one of these. I need to work out which one it connects up to first. There is instructions online, so we'll have a look at that. Um, it does tell you what the pins are that you need. Oh, no, it does. It says analog inputs there and digital. Ah, wicked. Right, so it's the analog inputs that we need. So it's this side here. You see the right in there. That's cool. Right, what I've ended up doing is I've taken a little notch out of there, out of the plastic, because there's nothing plugs into that. You could drill it if you wanted, but I just decided to take the tiny little bit off the top, which means that there will then just sit in there. No worries, no problems. Put the lid back on if it's sorted. So that's that plugged in. Um, Red, white, you know, it's that red on the right hand side. So red is zero. White is one. And that should just sit on nice like that. Cover those back in. That's just ready to wire up, so I think I can use the red one on here. Will be the one that I'll be using for the wideband. Zero on the software it doesn't matter which one i use you can actually set it to anyone you want i suppose but i know that red one's the one on zero on that end so i'll use that one right sorry about the wind but it's very windy right so state has very kindly pulled the wiring up this side here so what we're going to do is we're going to try and get it to fit through that grommet there which looks like the major wiring loom for the car engine anyway in the car. Yeah, it is I. So that's the major wiring harness. This shouldn't be too hard to find on the inside. So what I need to do is I need to cut a tiny little hole in there. And then just push the wiring through and grab it on the inside. Right, we'll just push quite a bit of it through and then we'll go inside and see if we can find it. And then Pull it a bit neater, oh, rubbish, put it wrapped around that brake cable. Right, we'll pull it back out and start again. Right, we'll buy a mega 
fluke and coincidence, um, wherever I've pushed that through, it's actually made it come out exactly where I kind of wanted it, really. So that's pretty cool. So I can now gently pull on this to get rid of all the slack from the engine bay side. And then that's going to fit up that way and towards there, towards the gauge. That was a lot less dramatic than I imagined. It was dead easy. Right, so this is the AM loom for the gauge that plugs into your back of the gauge. Um, and what you need from here is you've got red and black, which is power and live, and earth, which is the analog output, which is the one that we need to run to the K Pro, which is going to go to the red wire on the analog output of the K Pro. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire the red and black up just to the cigarette lighter wiring because I'm not going to use the cigarette lighter ever, it doesn't need to be there. So, I'll just use that as the power on the earth, and um, plus because it's dead easy to get to, and then I'll just run that white wire down towards the ECU and wire that up. Um, the AM gauge itself comes with uh, where are we at? little bullet connectors, so I'll just use those. Um, and then I can start putting all this back together, basically. So connections made. If you wonder why I'm not soldering this, this is the parts that were supplied with the gauge. That's the only reason I'm doing it exactly the way they supplied it. Um, so that's your earth and your live done from your cigarette lighter plug. And next thing to wire the white wire, yeah, to run the white wire down the ECU. And then I can tuck those wires back up in there. But what I can do now is I can actually plug the wires into the back of the gauge and just make sure everything lights up. Let's have a quick test then. And this should just light up. Heat. That used to say poo. It doesn't say poo anymore, that's a bit of a shame. I'm a bit upset about that. But yeah, so that, that's working obviously, which is good. It's a good sign. Um, I now need to make it communicate with the ECU. There you go, that's apparently what the air fuel is right now. Interesting. I'm gutted it doesn't say poo like they used to. So that's the white wire from the gauge into the red wire, which is the analog input one, uh, zero, sorry, on the K-Pro. Um, I'm just gonna tape the ends of these up into a bunch so I can stash them behind the dash if I need them for anything else. But that's everything wired and everything done. So I can just put everything back together properly and uh, then get the laptop and make it work, hopefully. Everything all back together cable oh it's loading up gonna be a tuner again um yeah right i'll get the software loaded up and connect to the ecu and then we'll try and make this work right so to read the file go into online tools download um there's, i'm surprised there's not a little download icon there because there's an upload one but there isn't a down one right so that's us now on there now we need to go into, where are we at? Uh, analog inputs, zero is unused. So we need to change that to be used. All right, so, so where it says unused, knock that down. We're on that AM there. So now we've got wide, uh, wide band. Uh, when we call that, we'll name it wide band. It's now called wide band. And then when we go into, there with it again. Close loop. External wideband is now showing up as analog zero. Sorted. Now, oops, done something wrong there. Don't like PCs at all, right? So now there, that should now be switched on and should be working. So yes, the wideband is actually reading now. Um, I haven't even started the car yet, so I'll start the car up. I mean, this is a dodgy map that I got from the vault. Um, it's not for my car. Obviously my car needs properly tuned. So that there is still reading its heat up on there. Once it comes up it should start working. Sean is mega rich. There we go. Well, it is. Right, I've also uh, disabled the secondary oxygen sensor. So we're running primary off just the external wideband now. So yeah, that's under closed loop, external wideband, and then obviously you've put your analog input in, and it's reading that. 
all that's there and I've called that wideband name wideband sorted everything's done and that's fitting an AEM wideband gauge into an EP3 onto the K-Pro V4 this car is now ready to be mapped awesome thanks for watching